Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 4. Yes, episode number 4. Yeah, this is episode number 4. And um, in the previous episode, the introductions are over, main characters are introduced, and now we'll get, I think we'll get into the story, the main story of Soul Eater. And I'm quite excited, like uh, these three uh, uh, main characters, uh, with their uh, side side main characters, no, they're also main characters. Uh, the uh, pairs of uh, characters like the master and the weapons, and uh, these combinations. And uh, there are, uh, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven characters, seven main characters like uh, Maka Soul, um, Black Star Subaki, and um, uh, uh, Kid, and the Thompson sisters. Like there are seven, seven main characters here, and uh, yeah, I'm quite excited. Like uh, seven main characters is quite a lot, and I'm uh, thinking that the weapons are also main characters because they are like one of the main focus of the story. So yeah, they can be technically uh, considered as a main character as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with episode number four, Soul Eater. Uh, subtitles and the timer will be given around here. So link, sync it to whichever is a preference, and let's get started. Okay, I'll be counting down. Three, two, one, go. Mm. Okay, this is new. We've not seen this in the introductions before. Okay, what is this? Oh my god. Okay, Maka and Soul. Rasputin. Okay. <coughs> Oof. Well, you can you said bullets, you didn't say anything about a sight. <laughs> Oof, the way they eat the soul. <laughs> Death City. Oh my. Wait, is this soul? Okay, so the weapons also have houses? And here it is, Blyer. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Maka lives here as well. Oh my god, this is a bad timing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. And it's going to get his ass whooped. <laughs> Well, it's too good to be too. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. Okay, so like, uh, do they live there together? I, I don't get it. Like, I, no, no, the first thing is that I was quite surprised seeing that soul. Uh, Kind of like I thought that he was like a weapon, and so uh, I did not uh, consider him like uh, having normal human uh, what do you call them uh, mannerisms, like sleeping at night and everything. So that was a bit surprising, and uh, yeah, I kind of understand now like how they are. I mean, I'm guessing that they are mainly humans, but they have like a kind of like a special power to what do you call it, uh, transform into weapons. So the weapon thing is the sight thing. And the mainly they're like a human partner.
<laughs> that sun crescent moon uh, mark is angry His head. <laughs> okay. Statue of Liberty. What? Okay. All right, so like this is like rumors. <laughs> is this? Yeah, Maka's dad. <laughs> oh god damn <laughs> yeah <laughs> temporary <laughs> wow <laughs> damn this guy <laughs> oh my god he's going to make him have yeah evaluation <laughs> damn Okay, some new missions or something? Engage the witch hunter. Graveyard, alright. <laughs> and here he is. <laughs> The big guy. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Um. <laughs> this guy like Oh, so they're also called group mission something Goroshi Shinichi ni Goroshi Yep, it's a mission. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. I thought this was going to be something mission or something. <laughs> hmm.
Oh god. Zero. Yep. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, this guy, okay. Oh, my God. Hmm. That's the guy from the opening. Friendly expulsion. <laughs> yep, Black Star is here. What? Hook Cemetery. Hook. There are a lot of hooks here. Hmm. And that's like his home, he'll probably come back. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. guy <laughs> well two is better than one <laughs> and here he is oh my god well yeah he was sleeping inside Hmm. Well, okay. What is he doing? Holding a machine gun? Like, are bullets going to fly out of the grave? <laughs> Ah, kind of, because you're dead, technically. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was like killer bees saying like Yeah. One star, okay. Three star. And he is technically dead now, so he'll be more stronger. <laughs> ah, kind of, yeah, that is technically correct. Wait, what is he doing? Well.
Hmm. Oh my god, look who's here. The Neko witch. Oh no, not the witch, sorry. She's not a witch, she's a Neko. Hmm. Yeah. <coughs> oh my god. Oof. Knife Meister. Okay, so what happened to his weapon? Like. There must have been another weapon like Soul and Subaki. Okay. Oh god. God damn. Mm. Sorry about that, something popped up. Yep. Moldering dope. Yeah, he has star in his name, so. <laughs> Shuriken. Oof. All right. Nani? Oof, that was a close dodge. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Okay, some kind of special attack. Soul resonance. Okay. Woof! That is sweet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> ah, you should have practiced more. Uh, it was even game over if that hit. Wow, that is some damage. Oh my. <laughs> Sid is scared now. And. Okay, he's like. A mole in the ground. Okay. <laughs> Hit the mole. What? Okay, so this is like something to detect.
Okay. Hmm. And we detected him. And here it is. <laughs> okay, he caught everyone, I think. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Okay, who is this? Oh, kid. Okay, he knows. Yeah, he doesn't. Meister trained him. Yeah. Okay, so there was someone before him, uh, her. And here it is. Curated Meister, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So they've tracked it down. Hmm. Okay. This is like, uh, I think this is like a small story arc that has started. <laughs> well, Soul and Marka definitely needs more practice. Like, that uh, technique is a lot, extremely powerful and Yeah, they're able to master that. Like, they would be a lot more powerful and be able to hold their ground against enemies even stronger than them. And that is the yep. Okay, that is the end of Soul Eater uh, episode number four. Now, in this episode, um, uh, this is like a start of a new arc, I think. Like um, here, we can see like uh, what do you call it? Uh, we get to know uh, something about Marcus. Uh, Dad's past, uh, not past technically, but uh, something about Marcus' dad that is uh, his uh, first uh, master who wielded him, uh, Frankenstein. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but from the opening, I could have uh, given like it was just like extremely uh, like uh, the way he was designed, it was extremely recognizable. It is Frankenstein, and um, so uh, the thing is that uh, like. Since he is like uh, doing uh, stuff with uh, dead bodies, like them, I think he's making the zombies and stuff like those. Like uh, that is kind of like the main point of Frankenstein. And um, 
so uh, i think uh, after graduating he he uh, did things like that and uh, this kind of like reminds me of orochimaru from naruto because um, of the similarity in the i'm, I'm just basing this on uh, whatever we have seen up until now like he graduated and then now he's like uh, doing stuff with dead bodies and uh, things like that so i'm guessing that um, when he was still in school uh, he had uh, he wielded uh, maka's dad and uh, maka's dad graduated to a death site and uh, uh, or he did not get i don't know about when he graduated uh, being addressed uh, uh, to a death site but uh, he wielded maka's dad and uh, i think that he kind of like uh, after graduating uh, went uh, kind of like rogue and did stuff like these and so he was probably like um, what do you call it exiled or outcasted and uh, maka's dad was like Uh, given to another master uh, which was uh, maka's mom so yeah this is like all my guesses i'm guessing everything and i don't know if that is correct or not but i kind of think that it happens like this because um, that's the only thing that could happen like uh, here we can see the as they said that frankenstein was one of the best master that was that has uh, have graduated so there must have been a kind of like a grave offense uh, if uh, like uh, as to why his weapon was taken away and why he is now like being hunted down for being uh, 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 for things like this like doing uh, wrong things so yeah uh, that was the first thing and uh, other than that uh, this uh, <coughs> this episode was like um, yeah nothing much happened here the only thing that happened was that thing with sid and i was quite uh, surprised to seeing that uh, that guy uh, from the previous episode was sid like uh, yeah he seemed like a cool dude but um, and after being uh, zombified he, he still is like uh, he has his uh, what do you call this the things that he did like uh, he was saying that i am a teacher first and foremost and uh, he was kind of like trying to lecture them and uh, trying to uh, show them that uh, yeah uh, you're doing this wrong uh, like he was still a teacher even after death like even after becoming a zombie um, his teacher habits uh, teaching habits uh, did not go away and um, yeah like uh, um i i can see like uh, the, he is not in the wrong here technically because uh he was killed and uh, we can see that hole in his forehead so like he is not in the wrong here he was um kind of killed and uh, brought back to life so uh yeah i don't know like uh, he is secondly not in the wrong here i don't know if anyone is in the wrong here because uh, like uh, we can see like a lot of supernatural things here so uh, like uh, um, uh, eating the souls of kishins and uh, every all other things like these are all supernatural things so uh, zombifying people uh, with uh, i don't know if that is something that is kind of like a wrong thing like killing someone just to make them a zombie i don't know what frankenstein did here but uh, if he uh, like did not take permission <laughs> and uh, this is very wrong I, i'm saying like <laughs> things <laughs> i'm saying that if he did not take permission to kill him like if he has taken his permission and he has consented that yeah you can kill me and i'll become a zombie then i think that is kind of okay like you consented so yeah but if he did that without uh, the other party knowing and if he is doing this like uh, taking uh, lab rats for himself without taking their permission or uh, like doing things for his own selfish reasons that is kind of wrong i don't know what frankenstein's motive is but yeah i can say this much that uh, if it was consented then that is okay if it was not then that is wrong and uh, <laughs> that was extremely wrong like i said <laughs> that if you take permission to kill someone like uh, that only applies in anime <laughs> Oh my god like <laughs> anyways so um yeah and uh, other than that uh, let's see what else was here um uh, we see, uh, see uh, blair uh, in uh, uh, maka uh, soul's room and like uh, i don't know if uh, maka came uh, 
just came in the morning to wake soul up or if they live together i don't know i doubt they live together because his dad was so uh, hard uh, dad was like so what do you call it um possessive of maka like uh, for, uh as his own daughter uh and i don't think like uh, they live together i think that she might have came at the morning to wake soul up and here i was a little bit surprised here because um, i thought that uh, uh what do you call him no, soul was like a mm, weapon and he uh, like I'm, in my mind the thing was that he was a weapon first and a human later on but here i can see that my uh, uh, way of thinking was completely reversed and completely wrong here he is like a human first then a weapon so yeah this thing was uh, rectified in my mind now and uh, like um, he was like sleeping like a normal guy and uh, doing everything so he is a human first a human being a partner first then a weapon so i'm glad that this got cleared uh, in the beginning episodes so uh, like yeah that is kind of wrong in my thinking like uh, thinking of something someone as a weapon i would watch now to why the hell did i think of him as like a weapon that is extremely wrong <laughs> like like uh so yeah he's a human first and not a human but he is kind of like a, a living thing first then a weapon uh and uh, what else uh the thing with sid happened and uh, maka's dad became a contemporary teacher and um, they went to uh, shinigami and they met uh, subaki and blast on the way they went for uh, the mission that is the remedial classes <laughs> in a graveyard maka was sad because uh, her mom was such great um, uh, site master and she was like <laughs> doing remedial classes and then they met uh, sit and sit tried to teach them some lessons some teaching lessons but unfortunately uh, he was unable to do so uh, sit and uh, uh, not sit uh, mark and soul tried the new technique that is soul resonance but failed completely they need more practice and uh, we saw uh, black stars another new technique that is trap star and he became like like an assassin um, like um, breathing uh, taking his breathing under control listening to everything that's happening in small little sounds as well and everything like that and um, yeah they got him uh, they got sit and <laughs> mark and they caught maka in the <laughs> in that uh, way like uh, with the trap as well so uh, other than that and uh, what else and we can see like uh, the thing we get got to know that uh, his past um, maka's dad's past a little bit of his past and uh, they tracked down frankenstein that's it that's it for this episode and yeah this is like a starting episode so um, i'm quite excited to see how this goes and um, yeah that was a fun uh, starting uh, i'm uh, technically uh, treating this as a starting episode because the previous episodes were like kind of like introductions and a little bit of back stories uh, so this is like a start of the story arc so yeah i'm treating this as the first episode of a story arc so yeah uh, I'm quite excited to see what more this uh, series uh, is going to bring, and uh, I'm quite interested in the backstories and everything of each and every character. And uh, yeah, so that's it. That's it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have enjoyed my reaction, press the like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't or you're new to the channel, and uh, comment down below whatever is your uh, opinion about this episode. Anything, comment down below, and uh, I'll be back with a new Soul Eater episode. Um, next week uh i'm doing two episodes per week so you guys know like today and the day after yesterday i did one episode so in a week uh, those two will be the days where i'll be uploading soul live eater episodes uh so yeah and uh, thank you for watching guys and i'll be uh, back again with a new video uh so yeah until then goodbye and have a nice day